Harry, really good to speak to you. Um, team spirits seem to be really high in the camp. We've seen you on inflatable unicorns. We've seen the team playing water volleyball. Is it all as fun as it seems? Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, we, we're a tight group, a lot of togetherness, spirit. Um, and yeah, when you're winning football matches, it always brings the spirit up and we're in a good place. Um, obviously, a great result the other night. And now full focus on the next game and um, we're, we'll be ready. Defensively, England have been so good. Record now seven clean sheets um, consecutively. How has that happened? And what do you make of how defensively solid England have been? Yeah, it's a, it's a real plus for us. Um, seven clean sheets is remarkable. Um, it's not just us defenders and a goalkeeper. It, it comes from a team, it comes from a base, it comes from a foundation from the forwards, lads um, pressing the ball and, and working tirelessly. And obviously the, the, the minor details make the big details. So set plays, we, we've been solid. And um, of course, it's a big plus. The most important thing is winning games and, and keeping clean sheets enables us to do that. Looking back at the last game against Denmark in the Nations League, how do you look back on that time um, when England lost and you got sent off and perhaps you weren't having your most, I suppose, uh, brilliant time on and off the pitch? How do you look back on that and the support network that you had in place? Yeah, great support around me. I have great family, I have great friends, um, a great club as well who's helped me along the way as well. So. Um, I look back at obviously it was a challenging time. Um, I think every international player has been through ups and downs in the career. That's part and parcel of being a footballer. So yeah, it was a challenging time, but I'm, I'm proud of the, the way that I handled it and the way that I come through it. And now I'm in a positive place and um, yeah, everything's good at the moment and long may it continue. Is it extra motivation because you lost last time out and, and because you got sent off? Not that you need any motivation in the semi-final of, of a European championships, of course. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's extra motivation because of that. I think the motivation's there. It's a semi-final of a European Championship. Um, the semi-final of losing at the World Cup hurt uh, a lot. So we need to make sure when it comes on Wednesday night that we, we get a positive feeling rather than the one that we got against Croatia. Just a, a word on the fans, because you enjoyed Euro 2016 as a fan. So you're aware of what it means to the supporters when an England team delivers. Are you aware of the Euro fever that's gripping the country at the moment or have you been able to, to keep yourself inside your bubble? No, of course we're aware of it. It's, um, it's brilliant to see. Um, that's what social media should be there for and that's what it, it's there for at the moment. We see all the positive vibes and the videos going around and um, yeah, like I say, it's, um, it's a great atmosphere to be, be involved in and winning football matches enables that. Um, but yeah, we're on this journey together. Us players, staff, fans, we're all in this together. We all want the same thing. We want to win football matches and we want to go as far as we can. And at the moment, everything's good. There seems to be a quiet confidence about this England side, that like they truly believe that winning this competition is possible. How has that happened? I think through the hard work since um, our defeat to Croatia, every game that we've played, we, we've tried to improve on. Every game in this tournament, we feel like we're, we're improving, we're getting better. I think we can still get better. And I think we will do. Um, but yeah, I think the belief's there. We have a, we have a great, great group, exceptional talent um, and, and, and some great leaders and some great experience too. So it's a good mixture, but we're not getting carried away. We've got a lot to do and a lot to improve on. Uh, and just finally, a note on the, the fact that there's so many Manchester United players already in this England side. Another one has just been added in, in Jadon Sancho. Did you uh, have to try and convince him to sign for Manchester United? And what do you make of that signing? <laughs> Yeah, first and foremost, Jaden's a, a top player, exceptional talent, a young lad with a lot of experience and um, his numbers speak for itself what he's done over in Germany. So, no, he's a, he's a great player. I don't think it's a done deal yet. Uh, we can't confirm he's a Manchester United player. I know it's close, but it's still a, a, a Dortmund player as it stands. So, but no, of course, the, it's exciting times ahead and hopefully we get it across the line. Hi there, Harry. You're saying you're, you're not in a bubble. You're aware of the excitement as we, as we go into the final stretch. You see it everywhere, uh, repeated from former players, pundits. England will never have a better chance. Do you take that on board? Do you believe that as well? No, I don't take that on board. I think England in the past have had great chances. Um, but we're focused on ourselves. I think um, the, the mentality of this group is that we, we demand a lot from each other. We demand to win football matches. Um, 
and we just focus on each game as it comes. But I think in the past we've had great chances and um, the outcome hasn't been great. So, no, um, like I say, every game that we play is a tough game at this level. You need to perform to your highest to make sure that it gives you the pos possibility of, of winning the football match. And at the moment we're doing that. And like I say, every game we take, take as it comes and we need to make sure we perform well. Denmark, um, let's be honest, if England weren't still this far, we'd all be Denmark fans, wouldn't we? I mean, their story over the past few weeks has been horrific to begin with and, and then incredible and inspiring. They, they are highly motivated on this emotional journey that they're on. Yeah, definitely. It's been really inspiring, their journey. Um, obviously, first and foremost, our thoughts have always been with Christian and, and his recovery, and uh, we're all right behind that. Um, and yeah, they're a good team. They're, they've proven now for, for years that they're a top team. I think they're the highest ranked team that we'd have played in this competition. Um, so we know that they're a, they're a strong team with great leaders in the team, um, great experience. So we know it's going to be a tough game, but we're really focused on ourselves. We're talking about um, you, you travelling as a fan during the, Euro the last Euros. Um, how much is there a sense that you would just actually love to be in the crowd when you're scoring goals with this side? Yeah, I think when you see all the videos um, and the atmosphere that it creates and um, all my family and my friends, obviously they weren't in the stadium the, the, the other day, so they, they had a, a party back um, in Sheffield. Uh, so, yeah, it was... Um, it's, it's, it's always great following your country. It's always, I, I had a great time in France. Um, I know the memories of, of the results wasn't, wasn't great, but for me to be out there with the fans and, and, and the passion, um, and for me to realize how much it means to actually everyone, um, no, it, it, it was great memories for myself and, and, and a fantastic holiday. I think a few of us probably bumped into your brothers and your um, your mates on tour in uh, Russia while you were in camp. And I think Vardy's got a lot of the credit for the um, Slabhead um, nickname, but I think it goes back a bit further than that. Who's, to res who's responsible and to blame? And I know you're a Manchester United world-renowned star now, but is it, is it even strange that you've got Italian studios um, trying to understand what the slab had, Slabhead title means and talking about it? No, I think it, I, I think it actually does does originate from from Vardy, um, and and from Russia. I think he said it in an interview once. So it's just kept caught on from there. Um, and I, I I can't say I've seen the Italians news report, so I don't I don't know what was said or, or what's been said on on that behalf. 